now let's implement the countdown timer so for that purpose we will implement a widget right click on all widgets new dot file we will give it name as timer underscore widget material dot dot you will create a stateful widget and we will give it name as timer widget here we will receive one thing as a parameter and that will be the VPN connection stat that is either the uh, user started the VPN or not if the VPN is started only then the timer will start so it is basically you can say a boolean type variable boolean type variable we will receive here inside this timer widget and let's give it name as init timer now which means start timer now or you can say initialize the timer now then inside the widget build above the widget build you need to create an instance of the duration and then define instance of the timer and we will implement two methods that will be start timer now and then of course other one will be the stop timer now so in the start timer now method you will set the timer that is at which speed it will go per second we want to do it okay so we can set timer dot periodic duration will be seconds one second that is one second with the speed of one second it will start and it will go one second two second and so on then you can say set stat and then we will assign to the duration the duration seconds which is duration dot in seconds plus one okay so keep adding one seconds to it and that is assigned to the duration now in the stop timer now when the connection when the VPN connections stat is disconnected when the user disconnect the VPN then we have to cancel the timer so you will simply say timer dot cancel and then set the timer back to null and duration will become equals to the duration that is assigned duration to the duration instance now the start timer as you see that it will just go start with the speed of one second okay and it key after one second it will keep adding one second to it that is one second two second three second four second five second it will just go on now on the basis of our duration we will convert this duration which contains basically the seconds the duration in seconds format only so we'll convert that to proper time passed like how much seconds passed how much minutes passed and how much hours passed so inside our widget build first we will check if timer become equals to null or if not widget dot in it timer now as you know that this is a boolean type variable so what it means if the timer is equals to null 
or if the this not widget dot init timer simply means as you know this is a boolean type variable which we will receive here as a parameter so it simply means that not true or not false okay whatever the value of it is depending upon that condition what we will do we will do that if widget dot init timer now if it is true then start timer now else if the value of widget dot init timer now if the init timer value is false then in that case stop the timer now if the init timer is true then start if the init timer is false then stop that's it and then after the if condition we can say two digit integer number number dot string dot paired left two comma zero in the double quotes first we will get the minutes so we can say two digit digit the number will be duration whatever the duration is in minutes we will get it in minutes dot remainder 60 and then after it we will get the seconds so it will be duration in seconds and then finally the hours it will be in hours so we will get minutes seconds and hours so what we will do we will simply return our text widget in this text widget we will display the hours minutes second past so we can say dollar hours colon dollar minute past colon and then dollar seconds past just like this and let's apply some textile on it and we will just add the font size let's go to 23 font size 23 so we are ready to go back to the home screen and just call our timer so we can simply say obx call the timer widget to which we will pass one thing as a parameter and that is init timer now and that value will be based on our VPN connection state so we can simply say that home controller dot vpn connection state if the value of our vpn connection state if that become equals to vpn vpn engine dot vpn connected now that is if the vpn is started if the vpn is started this condition simply means that if the VPN connection is started, okay, if the VPN connection start, if that become equals to connected, then it will stands true. That will it will return a true value. It will return true to this in a timer here, which will be received here, on the basis of which the count uh, countdown timer will start. Otherwise, if the VPN connection stat is not equals to the connected now then in that case false value will be pass 
using this init timer now which will be received here and the countdown timer will not stop or let's say if it is already started then it will stop the countdown timer now how we will of course test the application now so let's just quickly install the app on our phone so the app is running now so as you can see at the start as the VPN connection stat is not equals to connected so false will be returned as this condition stand false so false will be returned in that case you see that the timer is stopped it is not started okay it is stopped now the moment uh, as you know if I select any country from our VPN let's say Russian Federation or any country any VPN server you wants to connect just connect to that and the moment when it's started when the connection started when we are connected to the VPN then the countdown will start so as it is authenticating and here we go as soon as we connected you can see the timer started okay and now our VPN connection is started and uh, I mean the timer for that is started and as soon as when I click on disconnect it will stop this timer so if I disconnect you can see that it stopped the timer now one thing you have noticed that this VPN connection stat and the timer there is a div, um, gap some extra space between these and this let's connect button as you can see so let's minimize this gap in our this status of connection container as you know it is the top from the I mean from the top we have given it extra space and it will be only 0 0.015 that is 0 0.015 or 0 0.015 you can say and yeah from the bottom it is okay from the top we have to just minimize it to 0 0.015 so now if we test the application so it looks good now now let's connect so yeah it is working fine so we are connected now to this Russia Federation VPN server so you can see that it is working fine and the timer is started